Now, I was for sure getting very excited when Hapa announced this aircraft model earlier this year. But it's not that this aircraft hasn't been featured in several iterations from various manufacturers and in various scales. One of them in scale 400 we've actually already reviewed here on the channel. Feel free to check that out. But all of them have one thing in common, and that is the question, have they gotten the air green and red color right? Well, we find out in this review, thanks to the great prices of the FMB shop. So with that, hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at an Airbus A33800neo, or the only A33800neo of Air Greenland. At the front of the box we have a cutout so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside and on top of the box we have the air green and branding. The back side of the box unfortunately once more a massive let down from Happy Wings. So the only thing of interest here is simply the fact that this is a limited edition. And here she is, the Airbus A33800neo in the standard livery of Air Greenland. And as mentioned, this is the only A33800neo in the Air Greenland fleet. This is their flagship, mainly used on the routes between Kangalusuak on Greenland and Copenhagen in Denmark. Now, of course, the main question is how have they done with the red color? Has Halpa done it right where so many others have failed? And this is something we will dig into at the end of the video. So do stay tuned to the very end. But first, we just want to figure out what has Halpa managed to do with the model itself? What does it offer collectors? Is it worth our money and time? And the best way to find that out is simply by taking a closer look at it, starting off with the tail section, where we on the vertical stabilizer find the Air Greenland branding. On the fuselage, we then have the aircraft type specification, the flag of Greenland, the full registration code of the aircraft, and towards the very tail of the aircraft, we find a bit of detailing around the APU exhaust. On top of the fuselage, we then also have the lovely addition of a set dome, really lovely with the white color contrasting the red of the fuselage. Now, if we move to the front of the aircraft, we can see across the fuselage the writing of Air Greenland, and we also have some static ports. Now, we could perhaps have had one or two more hatches here that would really have been nice, but I think the biggest miss and that could have really elevated the model would have been the addition of some patter tubes around the cockpit section. But when we look at the cockpit section, we can see we have the name of the aircraft and the flag of Greenland just underneath the cockpit windows, where we, of course, also have the window wipers printed on. Now, with Air Greenland's livery, the black neo mask that we know from many other neo aircraft is slightly different incorporated which means the black edge around the windows is quite a bit tighter this requires quite a bit of precision in the print something that hapa isn't perhaps perfectly suited for and this is why i particularly would like to recommend you to check out this part of the aircraft model before you buy it to be sure that you are happy but let's also take a quick look at the engine cells. They have been kept in the same red color as we find on the fuselage. Have the silver leading edge, the air green and branding, and the safety markings printed on, giving them overall a pretty lovely look, I think. Also, the physical detailing of these engines is actually rather nice, in my opinion, especially here from the front. Very, very nice. You can see the engine fan blades. Moving on from the engine ourselves, we should also take a closer look at the wings, starting off with the top side, where we have the different flap slats and spoilers carved out, although slightly drawn away by the grey paint. We do, however, have two different shades of grey on the wing to give it a little bit more detailing. The underside of the wings has more nice physical detailing, and here we also find the full registration code of the aircraft. And then the A330neo wings, of course, also have these lovely rounded winglets, looking especially great with the Air Greenland branding printed on. Then we of course also have the landing gear. Now this is the standard landing gear that Haber uses for all their Airbus A330 new aircraft models in scale 500. I think the main landing gear looks just fine. The front landing gear actually also pretty well, although I find it to look just a tiny bit too tall and I'm definitely missing some printed details. On the belly of the aircraft, we then again find the Air Greenland branding looking quite lovely, except of course that it has been destroyed by a hole in the fuselage for a stand that is not included with this aircraft model, making it rather pointless. And then last but certainly not least, we also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here at the back of the aircraft and also here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Airbus A330-800neo in the standard livery of Air Greenland from Hapa Wings in scale 1 to 500. And what can we say about this aircraft model? 
on first glimpse, it's definitely a nice looking aircraft. And I think Harper's scale 500 mode of the A330neo is also pretty much spot on. The print quality overall is also really lovely, but I do very much recommend you to check out the black Neo mask before you buy the model to be sure that you are happy with the results. But what about the color? That is the biggest question because certainly many manufacturers have tried and failed. How about Harper? Well, firstly, we need to recognize that the air green and red color does change quite dramatically depending on the light conditions. But then again, given that this is an officially licensed product, we can safely assume that Harper has been given the color information directly from the airline itself, and hence they should be able to apply the correct color to their aircraft model. Now we can start by taking a look at a product that is actually sold on board Air Green and Flights. This not very accurate representation of the same aircraft definitely has a darker tone in the livery. But given that this is perhaps not the most accurate model made by an undisclosed manufacturer, let's see if we can find another example of an air green and aircraft. For that, we can actually refer to Harper Wings itself with the previous A330-200 in the Air Green and Fleet. Now, the livery here should basically be the same, but we can see a clear color difference between the old Air Green and A330-200 and now the new Neo. And when we put these models next to each other and perhaps even add the in-flight model, then it becomes quite clear that it seems to be a bit of a guessing game what color should be applied. But I would actually say that I think Harper Wings with their new A330 Neo is getting pretty close. Perhaps not 100% spot on, but that also seems to be difficult to really determine what is 100% spot on. But to be clear, I don't buy the usual excuses from Harper Wings when they say, you know, colors change depending on what materials you are adding them to. I mean, yes, technically that is correct, but Harper, like many other manufacturers, have been making models for decades and the materials they're adding colors to haven't changed. So they should be pretty solid in knowing how colors react to the materials they're using with their aircraft models. So there shouldn't really be any excuses for not having a spot on color on the model especially when they get the information directly from the airlines themselves. But again, I would say that HAPA is so close to what the color should look like that it is definitely within the acceptable margins. And they're for sure done better than many other manufacturers in, for example, scale 400 when it comes to the color. So perhaps we just need to accept that the red color of Air Greenen will always remain a little bit of a mystery. But still, I think we have a pretty solid aircraft model here in front of us, which is also why I have no hesitation saying that I think this is a lovely model to have in one's collection. Now with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like. And if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? With that, thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye. And by the way, Santa Claus obviously lives in Greenland, not Finland. Don't believe the Finnish propaganda. <laughs>